Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to another Sunday Stated Tip. Today I'm going to be giving you another tip using the egen command, also what's called a buy sort command. So last time in a previous video, we talked about how to generate the max and min of price in miles per gallon from this auto data set. But maybe that's not super helpful. Maybe we really want a max or a min price by like car company. So what I've done in the auto data set is I've just split up the name of the car into their two names. So here's the company name. So AMC, Audi, BMW. And here is the model or the make of the car. So for example, maybe for Buick, they've got a ton of models and they've got a ton of miles per gallon and a ton of prices. So maybe I want to know the minimum price for a Buick. So I can't use the simple generate command. I can't use an egen command because I want it to be by group. I want it to be by this model variable. So I'm going to use a by sort command. So I'm going to say by model one, then I'm going to say sort with a colon, and then I'm going to say egen min price is equal to the minimum of price. And you can see that we have done exactly what we wanted to. So here's our Buick. You can see that the minimum price is 4,082. It's kind of hard to see here. So maybe we can do a little sort command. So maybe I'll sort model one and price. So you can see that this Buick, the minimum price of a Buick is this Buick Skylark and it's $4,082. And we generate the minimum price for Buicks as $4,082. We can similarly use this to find the highest miles per gallon for every model for every car company. So we can just say by model one, again, comma, sort. We're gonna egen max miles per gallon is equal to the max of miles per gallon. Go ahead and hit enter. I'll move this over just a little bit so we can see it. And you can see again that we've generated the max miles per gallon for every car company. The reason by sort is super useful is because when you combine it with eGen, there are so many different types of variables and operations you can do on your data by these groups. So feel free to check those out. And if there's a particular one you'd like to see, make sure to comment below. But if this was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. And we will see you next week for another Sunday's data tip here on In Case of Econ Struggles.